today we're going to be talking about the catface rock god, uh, very similar to the yellow belly that we've done before. Um, obviously just a few different uh, variations, but fishing for them is very similar. Uh, catface rock, rock god is Epinephilus andersoni. So Epinephilus means on the rocks, so that's where it comes from, rock god. And Andersoni, Anderson is the guy that, that discovered it or named it, so named after him. Uh, the cat face is very unique, it's got stripes on its actual face itself. So on the side of the gill face it's got stripes and it's got spots all over it. Um, a lot of the rock cods are, do have spots on it, so the stripes are, are definitely the distinguishing uh, feature. They are more elongated rock cod than your yellow bellies and your orange spotted and those kind of things. Um, they don't have that big belly that they develop, it's more a streamlined fish. But in terms of habitat, also very similar, most of the rock cods are very similar in that, in that aspect that they like caves, they like ledges, anywhere where there's a bit of structure that they can hide in. Um, once again, not the strongest fighter, but like the yellow belly, they like wedging themselves into holes once you catch them and they'll, they'll cut you off on any structure, but in the open water they don't put up much resistance. Uh, they're caught by ski boats, rock and surf, and by the commercial and recreational fleets, but they make up a lot higher catch percentage, about just over 3% for, um, for the commercial guys. They have a very big mouth, they don't have sharp teeth, they've got little recurved spines that, sit, that replace their teeth, but it's like a, a plate more than actual individual rows and that's used to grab their prey. They like crayfish, they like squid, any of the crustaceans, um, so your, your crabs and your shrimps, and they, they like fish. They are ambush hunters. They do tend to congregate to, to a much greater extent than the yellow bellies. The yellow bellies are a bit more individualist, um, but they, do, they will spend time in their cave or their ledge uh, on the reef, so they, they are very resident. In terms of targeting them, uh, three to five ounce rod, 30 pound braid, 5,000, 4,500 size reel is more than adequate to get them. Um, you're not throwing long shots, you're throwing accurate shots. That's, that's the big difference with them. You want to target, he's not going to move 20 meters to come to your bait. He wants the bait to come right to him. So, same kind of baits, red eye heads, uh, cutlets, the optimum bait, but a nice big chocker and crayfish bait also works extremely well for them. Um, circle ups, extremely effective. He swallows that bait all the way down. So, with a J hook, you often hook him in the stomach if you've let him eat for too long. The circle hook's nice, it doesn't hook them down there very often, it does it sometimes, but you'll actually pull the bait all the way out and you'll catch him on the corner of his mouth. So, a lot more friendly friendly to the to the fish. The maximum recorded age for catfish is 11 years, so they're a fairly slow growing fish. Um, and size 9.4 kilos was the, is the maximum scientific recorded size, but obviously you do get un, um, unpublished data about people catching more. Your average fish is about 2-3 kilos is a, is a, a decent average, average catfish. Um, the sizes have gone down in recent years though because they're so vulnerable to overexploitation. the guys are taking out all the big fish and only really the little fish remain. Habitat wise, like we mentioned, Rocky Reef is the ideal space for them. Uh, deep gullies, they love roving there and offshore to about 70 meters depth. Uh, past that you don't really get them, so they're more of a coastal species. And in terms of where you're going to catch them along our coast, from Nisner North is where they're most commonly caught. Uh, so they're really more common in the KZN area, but you get them all the way down to Nisna and then there are some reports of them further south. Um, this can come down to global warming if you want to speculate that, but that's a whole another argument for another day. Um, yeah, quite an easy fish to catch. Uh, big mushy bait in a deep hole somewhere, you're going to come right with a, with a, with a cat face or yellow belly. Um, Cape Vidal, very good spot to target them. And remember, these guys are resident, they live in one hole, they can live there the whole life if they really wanted to. So, although they are nice eating fish, like the yellow belly, it's really better to put them back, you can catch them again next time. If you're a competitive angler especially, that really rings true, because now you can say, ah, oh, there's a yellow belly at that spot, there's a cat face at that spot. Competition time comes there, you go throw your bait right there, you catch them. That means double points. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, conserve our reef species, they are very vulnerable to overexploitation. exploitation um, 
And yeah, get out there, have a bit of fun, scratch, multi-target them, so the double hook trace that we've mentioned. And yeah, go catch yourself a catfish. Cheers.